Welcome back to another N3 broadcast. My name is Lainey. And I'm Avery. Try this guacamole. It's so good. You're a junior, right? Did you participate in Mole Day? I heard this year it was a good one. Yeah, I did. Want to see what activities we did in class? For sure. Let's check it out. Every October, Northwest students in Mr. Freeling's and Mr. Olson's class celebrate and learn about Mole Day. Mole Day is just a day to celebrate chemistry and give the students a chance to have some fun, see some demos, and look at a chemical constant. I got the idea of making the mole because I needed some extra credit in Olson's class, so I took advantage of it. Mr. Olson has been doing it before I got here five years ago, but they've been doing it for quite some time. Students partake in festive activities centered around Mole Day. I made my mole using my mom's sewing machine. We had students uh, watch demos where we blew up hydrogen balloon. I had them look at sodium going into water. We did some acid-based color changes, elephant toothpaste. And then we did the luminol experiment where things glow in the dark. My favorite part of mole day, I think the getting to show demos and think little experiments that don't quite work into our regular curriculum so that they can see some of the fun and interesting chemical reactions. Northwest chemistry teachers give their students the opportunities to earn extra credit for creating mole related crafts. My mom set the machine up for me because I had no idea how to use it and then it took me about an hour long. The bonus was a couple extra credit points. I'm not sure when I'll get them. I named my mole David. Mole Day is celebrated yearly by both the Northwest chemistry teachers. Well, I think it's going to be like Pi Day, it just keeps going. No matter the uncertainties, you can always count on an entertaining day in chemistry on Mole Day. Man, it looks like the juniors are having tons of fun. Speaking of juniors, have you seen Sailor Paulson's photography account? Yeah, it's all over my Instagram feed. She has some real talent. For sure, let's go meet the mind behind the lens. Northwest student Sailor Paulson has a knack for photography and enjoys having her friends as her subjects. I take all kinds of pictures, really. I'll just reach out to people or people will reach out to me and they'll just say like, hey, can we get some pictures? And I'll say, of course. Paulson only recently began taking photography so seriously as she attributes her continued interest to a specific post on her Instagram. It actually just kind of came along. I was with my friends, Carter and Reese, and it was before Carter's senior pictures and we were at his house and he had a camera and so we were just like okay let's take some pictures and it's actually my second Instagram post on my Pics with Say account on Instagram and it just kind of came together like that. Regan Greer, one of Sailor's subjects, only had good things to say about the amateur photographer. It's a lot of fun because it's like half of it is taking pictures and editing them and then the other half is just like getting to know people and just being their little hype woman. I chose Sailor to take my pictures because she was taking a bunch of my friends and they looked really good so I just decided to ask her and she said yes. As her photography has grown more popular, Paulson has pushed herself to improve her skills and grow more comfortable behind the lens. I like to give each person like a different landscape that will like match their personality and just bring out them in the pictures. It was so quick like we were in and out in like half an hour and I had like two different outfits and she was super chill just really fun. If you're looking for a serious photo shoot for your own social media or just a fun afternoon with a friend and a camera Sailor Paulson can make it happen. It's kind of hard with some people because everybody's comfort zones are different, but I just have like real conversations with them like in the car or something before we get there. I get to know them more one-on-one -on -one, and then it just helps. She said, I'm gonna be bossy so I'm sorry, but like just like make a serious face for me or put your hand here or smile, laugh, and she just was like fun and like acted normal so I felt comfortable with her. I think I could totally model for Sailor. Whatever, but before we get back to the broadcast, did you see someone wrote the word gullible on the ceiling? No way, where? <laughs> everybody, welcome back to Viking in the Village. My name is Alyssa Earl and today we're all wondering why the word gullible isn't in the dictionary. Let's go find out. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's not. It is. Wait, it's... Oh! <laughs> okay, well it's, uh... <laughs> Bye, Damon. Well, do you want to check? Alright. Oh, it's not in here. Why not? Because you just said it wasn't. Gullible is not in here? Nope. Are you sure? 
And I'm gullible for looking it up, aren't I? Gullible, it's in there. That's not right. Just because I have gray hair. Let's check. Oh, yes it is. What's the definition of it? Easily deceived or duped. Oh my goodness. I use that word all the time. That has to be a word. Are it's not sure? in there. You're yeah, do you want to try? Like, you can look. It is not in there. I don't know how to use the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, Q, Q, R, S. Did I already miss G? No way. It would be like right here. Ah! What? Oh, wait, it's right there. What's the definition? Easily dis. I hate you guys. <laughs> Send her back to quarantine. <laughs> Gullible. So, you know. <laughs> oh. Are you getting shot? <laughs> you want fry? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> it is in the dictionary, silly. Look. Right there. Why is it not? <laughs> I'm not going to look because then I'd be gullible. Mm. But it's not in there. Final answer. Please check. No. Please. Jason, please. <laughs> Fine, fine, leave, leave, leave. Because it's, it's got to be in there. It isn't. I don't know why it's not. Do you want to check? Okay. All right. I got to get my glasses. I mean, holy cow. I think it starts with G-A, though. G-A? You think I, it's I'm pretty sure. gallable? I think so. Or G-U-L? Like, like long A. Got it. Gallable, G-A-L, gallon, Galago. It's not in there. I'm gonna go to GU. Does look not in there? We got guinea pig. <laughs> Still not in, guys. Good call. It's not in there. Not in there. Oh man. <laughs> it's not in here. It's not. I'm not stupid. Me neither, and I know that it's not in here. Do you think I'm stupid? Perhaps. It feels good to be a gangster. I think this is a part of a script that you have somewhat memorized. I don't have a script. You just called me dumb. Okay. Okay. I'm too dumb to have a script. I agree. Get out of here. It feels good to be a gangster. Lainey, where's the word gullible? Not in the dictionary. You're right. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's broadcast. I'm Avery. And I'm Lainey.